Hello, within this video, I would like to talk about the extension of scanning workflows, which we've covered in the previous video. This time, we will focus on extending that with using the optical character recognition. But before we will start with that, let me just explain what the optical character recognition is actually about. Now, the most common problem of scanning of any file using the machine is that when you get it, what you get is actually only a picture of that file. Doesn't matter what is the output format, if it's a PDF, it's a TIFF, JPEG, or any other format, it will be only a picture. And that way, if you would like to extract data from it, you will not be really able to do so. Now, what the OCR or optical character recognition is doing is just it automatically analyzes the document and is able to extract the text into the searchable and editable form. There could be two basic outputs. The basic one, which is just a searchable PDF where you can, you know, use the search feature and find the words you want and potentially copy them to your document. Second one is advanced one where it not only gives you a searchable version, but also editable format like Microsoft Word, Excel, and others. So it just converts the file into a format where you can start working on those, you know, on those words or text, pictures, and everything which was in the original document. Now, when it comes to the scanning workflows and OCR and the way it is integrated, for that I will just switch to another slide when I can explain it easily. The way it is done is that the OCR engine works in tandem with the Micro server. So they're just working as one, basically. For the end user, it then works like this. He comes to the machine, presses the standard easy scan, and that's everything the user has to do. Because again, like in the scanning workflows, everything is already coded within the button. So that way everything comes to the Micro server. The Micro server will send it to the OCR engine to process it get it back, and then everything is sent to one or multiple locations which we have introduced in the previous video. So the setup is pretty much similar to the standard scanning workflows explained in the previous one. Now when it comes to the OCR options we're offering, there are actually three things you can use. There's either a free addition where you get the already mentioned searchable PDF or PDFi uh, for archiving. There is a paid edition which requires a special license, but what you get from it is not only the basic PDF format, but also the editable ones like the DOTSX, ODT, XLS, XLSs, or PPTX. So that way you can start working on your documents directly. You don't have to modify it or you know, use copy paste. You can instantly start working on those. The last option here is about the use of your own OCR engine. So if the company already owns an OCR engine and they're only working with it and used to it, what you can do is you can make that OCR engine part of the MyQ scanning process. Pretty much you can just set it the way that the OCR engine will be listening on certain folder, getting all the incoming files, and then just putting the processed files back to another folder while MyQ picks them and sends them out. So that way even your own engine, provided it can work on hot folder principle, can be part of this whole process and that way the scanning workflow of MyQ. So that will be everything about this topic. Thank you for watching and let's see each other at another topic when I would like to talk about the extension of that so we can just move all these things to even higher level.